Okay, what up guys? Uh, today for Teatro, we're going to be talking about body art, and more specifically, tattoos. Ooh, I want a tattoo. I want to. Okay, wait, before you say that, I have a couple of facts that might change your mind that you guys might want to at least think about before considering a tattoo. Um, well, body, okay, say you get a tattoo of something and you decide you don't want it. Say you get, like, your boyfriend's name tattooed on your neck, and then next year, your boyfriend, like, you and him break up or he dies in a car crash. <laughs> And, uh, sorry, that's not funny, but he dies in a car crash, and you decide you don't want it anymore, okay? Removing tattoos is very costly. It takes many visits and must be done by a dermatologist or plastic surgeon. My cousin has a tattoo, and he's in jail. I see. A lot of people in jail have tattoos on them. Don't a lot of people who aren't in jail have tattoos? But also a lot of people that are in jail do. But a lot of people who aren't in jail have tattoos too? Maybe or there's like just, most, most of the people in jail have tattoos? Right, exactly. And it's probably just a matter of time before the ones that aren't in jail now do have them. And if that, okay, if that wasn't enough, um, think about this. For safety, professional piercers use disposable gloves, brand new needles, and sterilized equipment for each client. Wait, what's sterilized? Uh, sterilized, it's like, it's, it's not the same, but it's like similar to paralyzed. So, um, or, what was the other one? Oh, uh, there's a long tradition of men wearing pierced earrings including African tribesmen, sailors, and William Shakespeare. Why does the African thing keep coming up? It's, it's in here a lot, and I mean, it's probably just a coincidence, but... You probably have to do a lot with that. A lot, yeah, and maybe it's just a coincidence that it's in here, or maybe it... Or they probably started it. Yeah. You know, I still want a tattoo. Okay, um... Oh, man, uh... Can I you? Alright guys, uh, so let's do this role playing. Uh, we're going to have it for you two. You're both complete strangers. Alright, Danny, go ahead and have a seat here so you can watch. Okay. You guys are just complete strangers. Uh, neither one of you has a tattoo. And you're just crossing each other on the street, uh, past each other. I just want to see how you interact, how you react to each other. Alright, so split sides, right. and I'll tell you when to go. Action. and cut. All right, that was good, guys. That was real natural. It looked realistic. Now we're going to do the same thing, except this time you guys are both going to have a tattoo. You're going to have one on your right ankle, and you're going to have one on like the small of your back, okay? Like the lower part of your, black, your back. And you guys still complete strangers. You cross each other, but you both have a tattoo. All right? So same thing. Split to your sides. And action. Well, you have one too or one? Oh, yeah. Well, let's do it with the thing. Let's do it. <laughs> nice, nice. Cool, that was that was nice, guys. That was really well done. Um, it really hit close to home for me. What about you, Don? What do you think? You know, you guys are right. I think I want to wait till I'm 17 to get a tattoo. Good. See? You guys really did a good thing today. Um, you can do this for other people if you get the chance. Tell them not to get tattoos. Or they'll the probably... The exactly. They're going to get hit with the bottle. Um, let's bring it in. On three, we'll do... Uh, on no three, HIV. no HIV. Alright. One, two, three. No, no HIV. HIV! Good job, guys. Right. 